in this module we'll talk about composition of matter and what type of bonds are present in matter as we know an atom is the basic unit of matter so let's look at the anatomy of an atom atoms we will look at the simplest case scenario of an atom which is a hydrogen atom hydrogen atom has a single positively charged particle at the center which is called the nucleus this this positively charged particle is called the proton around this proton a negatively charged particle called electron revolves the electron which is revolving around this positively charged particle has to follow certain rules it has to follow the rules of an orbital orbital is basically the space around around the nucleus orbitals like to have two electrons to understand this concept let's look at an analogy let's look at the analogy of a fan think about a fan with a single blade if we try to operate a fan with a single blade it will wobble because the blades are not balanced single blade cannot be balanced so if we have however if we have two blades on that fan which are balanced balancing each other the fan will be able to rotate in a stable manner so hydrogen atoms they don't exist they uh, as single atoms they like to form bonds which allows them to share electrons with other atoms let's look at hydro uh, two hydrogen atoms forming a bond between them two hydrogen atoms they can come close together and they can share an electron each now when they're sharing these electrons there are two electrons present in the in in the shell uh, i'm sorry in the orbital around the positively charged nucleus this electron these two electrons now when they rotate when they revolve in that in the uh, in that orbital they give stability to the structure this type of bond which is formed by sharing two electrons is called a covalent bond let's look at the structure of another atom the carbon atom which plays a very important role in living molecules carbon atom has four electrons in the outermost region these electrons four electrons are present in four different orbitals as we have discussed earlier that orbitals like to have electrons in pairs which implies that carbon atom can form four covalent bonds like hydrogen atom formed a single covalent bond with another hydrogen atom in our previous example carbon atom can form four covalent bonds with hydrogen atom in fact if you notice at the bottom of the slide there is uh there is a structure of of five different balls the blue ball in the center represents carbon atom and there are four red balls that are attached to it are the hydrogen atoms they are attached to the blue ball by a gray stick the stick represents a covalent bond so carbon atom is sharing four electrons with four hydrogen atoms now each hydrogen atom is contributing one electron and carbon atom is also contributing one electron in the bond and this is how we have been able to satisfy the orbital requirement of having four uh, of having two electrons per orbital let's look at another very biologically important molecule water water molecule has two type of two different types of atoms hydrogen atom and oxygen atom oxygen atom has six electrons in the outermost area two of these electrons are present in pairs in orbitals however two out of these six electrons are in a way orphan electrons they don't have a partner which implies according to what we have discussed earlier oxygen atom can form two bonds and when oxygen atom forms two bonds 
with hydrogen atoms, it results in formation of water. So, oxygen atom has two covalent bonds with hydrogen and has two electrons in other orbitals which actually belong to the oxygen atom. I would now like to explain another concept which is very important in biologically active molecules. It is electronegativity. If you notice, oxygen atom has eight protons. It is the nucleus of oxygen atom has a large positive charge. Whereas, nucleus of hydrogen atom has a single proton. So, if we think about it, eight protons will have a much greater pull on the electrons that is that oxygen atom is sharing with hydrogen. So, naturally, consequently, oxygen atom has, since it has more hold on the electrons which it is sharing with hydrogen atom, it keeps those electrons closer to itself. We already know electrons are negatively charged. So, the net result is oxygen atom has slight negative charge on it and hydrogen atoms would have slight positive charge. This ability of an atom to have greater pull on the shared pair of electrons is called electronegativity. So, oxygen is more electronegative than the hydrogen atom, resulting, which results in partial negative charge on oxygen atom. If we look at water in context with other water molecules, the partial or slight negative charge on oxygen molecule will result in attracting the hydrogen atoms of other water molecules which have a slight positive charge. This attraction results in a weak bond which is called the hydrogen bond. Let's look at another type of bond, the ionic bond in which an atom donates its electron to another atom. When an atom donates its electron, it becomes positively charged and the atom that receives the electron becomes negatively charged. Because these two atoms have opposite charges, they attract each other and this attraction results in a bond which is called an ionic bond.